Hello everybody! Welcome to Travel Life Mama. It has been a hot minute since I've recorded a video. We just got back from our cruise on the Carnival Vista. We went to Nassau, Amber Cove, and Grand Turk. I didn't really film too much on the cruise. I did make some shorts though, so stay tuned to that. I just wanted to post this video as advice for maybe first time cruisers, especially out of Port Canaveral, regarding your flights after your cruise because I think this is advice some people need to hear. If you are flying out of Port Canaveral, do not book a flight that it leaves before noon. And let me tell you why. So generally when we get on a cruise, we always express disembark, which means we take our luggage with us. Now when you express disembark, that usually means you're the first ones to get off of the cruise ship because you have your own luggage. And almost always we are off the ship by around 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. So I booked our shuttle from Port Canaveral to MCL, which is Orlando Airport, because that's the closest airport to fly out of, for 8.30. I'm thinking that would give us plenty of time to get off the boat and meet our shuttle. I don't know what was going on with the Carnival Vista on this day. I don't know why disembarkation process didn't move as smoothly as other ships I've been on. But 8.30 had come and gone and our muster station was nowhere near being called, which has never happened before. So we never ended up getting off the ship until quarter after nine. Hats off to Port Canaveral Express, I believe the shuttle service is called that I used. I called them as soon as I got on the ship. I said, hey, this is what happened. The ship was moving really slow today. Uh, we were booked for 8.30. What can you do for us? And she said, that's perfectly all right, we will get you a 9.30 shuttle, which I was so appreciative for because they could have just said, well, sex to be you and taken our money and then we would have had to find, find another way to MCO. So 9.30, so this is, I'm going to tell you the timeline of what everything happens. 9.30, we get on our shuttle and then it takes 40 minutes for us just to get out of the port area. We were leaving from Terminal 6. This particular shuttle had to go to another terminal to pick up uh, another passenger. And then 40 minutes of sitting in traffic, completely stalled traffic, to get out of the port area. I don't know if it's because of the construction. I've heard a lot of people complaining about the traffic problems at Port Canaveral right now, the parking issues at Port Canaveral. And this day was very evident about those issues. So timeline, 9.30 we get on the shuttle, 40 minutes in traffic. Now it's shortly after 10 o'clock. Our flight boards at 2 o'clock, leaves at 2.40. I figured, okay, we still have tons of time to get to MCO. We're doing good. We're fine. So for those of you who don't know, again, Port Canaveral is about 45 minutes from MCO. So 45 minute drive it's almost 11 o'clock when we pull into the airport. So again, that still gives us three hours, give or take, before boarding starts, right? We make our way to the Air Canada baggage check-in desk, and I couldn't believe the line for Air Canada on this day. And they were the only airline that had a ridiculous line like this, but it's Air Canada. It's what I've come to expect with flying with Air Canada. We waited in the Air Canada baggage drop-off line for 50 minutes. 50 minutes to get through the baggage drop-off line in Air Canada. So, okay, so it's almost noon. We still have two hours, right? We still have two hours until our plane starts boarding, so we're still fine. We drop off our bags, we make our way to security, and we are hit with a wall of people. I I've never seen anything like it before. It is a 74 to 78 minute wait to get through security. Security was so bad, they were only taking people whose flights left within the next two hours because those were the people who had priority to that need to get through, right? Because the security line was so long. Obviously, our plane did leave within two hours, so we were able to stay in line. And I was just praying that we were able to get through there before 1.30 because we still needed to walk to our gate. So I think we ended up waiting in line for about 50 minutes when luckily for us, when we got through the initial ID check, they were shuttling people towards a new security line and we were one of those lucky people that got shuttled to this new line and we were able to get through quicker. 
if we hadn't been able to go through that new line, I don't know if we would have made it on, on time for boarding. I know that there were people on my ship who had an 11 o'clock uh, flight, and I know there are people from my ship who did not make their flights this day. So yeah, with 45 min 40 minutes to get out of the port, 45 minute drive, 50 minutes to drop our bags, almost an hour to get through security, although it was more for other people who didn't get to shuttle into the other line. So all of those factors, even though if you think you have a big cushion, for when your flight leaves, once you get off the ship, that can all get eaten up. So again, I just wanted to make this quick video advice. Never book a flight before noon when you're flying out of Port Canaveral. Trust me, even if, if, if it's even a possibility, book a flight early the next morning. They have the Hyatt Regency at MCO where you can stay right in the airport. Uh, it's a beautiful hotel. Spend the night there and then catch an early flight the next morning and then you don't have to worry about all of that traffic and everything, lines and everything. So anyways, that was our experience getting off of the Carnival Vista. Uh, so what else is going on? As you can see, our, the house, we got it all decorated for Christmas here. We got our Christmas tree up. We got some of our other Christmassy decorations. You see we got all the stockings for ourselves and all the animals. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for some shorts that I made. And what's coming up next is we are heading to New Orleans, which is great because Georgie and Charles get to come on this trip. I'm so happy when I get to take the dogs with me. I got mauled by them when I got back off the cruise and now they're a little traumatized when I leave the door. They think I'm leaving for a week again. So it'll be nice when they see us start packing up and then they actually get to come with us, which is great. But in the meantime, I hope you all have a great holiday season and I will probably see you in New Orleans. Bye.